When the Hubble Space Telescope was launched from the Space Shuttle Discovery in 1990, NASA called it the greatest advance in astronomy since Galileo. Instead, within days, it became a laughingstock. Hubble had an eight-foot diameter mirror, but a chip of paint on a measuring rod caused the mirror to be four millionths of an inch too flat, leaving the telescope with blurry vision. Hubble needed glasses. Three years later, the crew of the Space Shuttle Endeavour rode to the rescue. Spacewalking astronauts installed tiny mirrors to correct Hubble's vision. The universe snapped into focus. Hubble scanned the heavens with unmatched clarity. Its cosmic postcards captivated the world. Four internal flywheels can spin Hubble in any direction. Once pointed, sensors lock on to guide stars, holding the telescope's suite of instruments steady for hours or days at a time. Hubble's cameras record in black and white through filters that isolate different wavelengths of light. Then each image is assigned a color that makes sense to the eye. When merged, this blended light shows the pillars of creation, a dusty birthplace of stars deep within the Eagle Nebula. Just below Orion's belt, the cold clouds of gas that form the Horsehead Nebula are shadowed and opaque in visible light. But Hubble can photograph the unseeable, peering deep into the ultraviolet and infrared revealing internal structures and the hidden light of newborn stars. Hubble was reborn again and again over the years by astronauts who replaced instruments when they wore out. But NASA declared an end to the servicing missions in 2004 after the loss of the space shuttle Columbia. There was a national outcry. In the end, NASA agreed to one last service mission, led by astronomer and astronaut John Grunsfeld. As the shuttle Atlantis prepared to pull away, he said goodbye to the old telescope. After 25 years, Hubble is still surprising us, and its greatest discoveries might still be ahead of it. <laughs>